welcome back for a new Walt Disney World vlog series. If you are new here, I am Em and I make up one half of Find Me in Fantasyland along with my sister in law Kirsty. It is currently the 3rd of May 2022 and it's about half past three in the morning and we are getting ready to head to Gatwick to go to Walt Disney World. I am so excited. I can't believe this day is here. We have done our COVID test. We did them yesterday. So we've all got our negative tests. We've got all our paperwork. We're all checked in and we are ready to go to Walt Disney World. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you It's a new beginning and a better life It's a dancing underneath the disco lights They can try but they can never take me International Airport. It is the 3rd of May um, and we are here for three weeks. We've just got here, we're waiting on everybody else. We've got all our luggage. We're just sorting out our Mears Connect um, QR code. We're just going to get that to Bay Lake Tower. Um, but yeah, flight was really good, really quick. We flew with BA. Um, I definitely fly with them again. They were much better than Virgin were in January, but not as good as Aer Lingus in March. Um, but they were really good. Flight seemed to go really quickly. We got through security really really quick we were in and out of customs in like five minutes and our bags were straight off so in total i think it took like 15 minutes including getting the little monorail over um so really really quick really really good the mco seems really really quiet um but yeah we're gonna go and head down to our mirrors connect and head over to bay lake tower it's a new beginning and a better life and everybody else has gone to go and get refillable mugs from the quick service so while they're doing that i thought that i would just do a quick little room tour we are dvc members so we are in a dvc one bedroom villa and we have got a lake view i'm gonna take you around now because it is amazing you come in and you've got this little lobby area which is really good size it's got a really handy little shelf that you can put your magic bands on your masks your hand sanitizer and then it's got a door to, I believe it's a studio that that drains onto, and then a little closet here. We've just put our bags here for now, just while we get sorted. And then you come over here and you've got the first bathroom. The great thing about the one bedroom villas at Bay Lake Tower, they've got two bathrooms, which is great if you are a family of like four or more, I think. So pretty standard Disney bathroom. You've got your hand soap and your body lotion little sink nice big mirror 
towels, the toilet, and then the bath with the sh Coming out of the bathroom, you've got another little cupboard space here. And this has got the washer dryer facilities in because this is a one bedroom villa and all the DVC villas have them. Now you come into the main living space. So you've got this really big dinner table with the bench seat in. I absolutely love the Space Mountain artwork on the wall. It adds such a beautiful pop of colour. And then you've got the TV. Something about this just fills me with so much joy and so much serotonin. I absolutely love it. Then coming on from the TV and the drawers area, you've got a door out onto the balcony, this massive window with this absolutely gorgeous view. I will show you that in a minute. It's stunning. And then you've got the chair, which is the twin sleeper chair, and then the sofa, which is a sofa bed. And then you have the kitchen. You've got this lovely big island in the middle, nice big oven, a microwave. You've got your 50th blend Joffreys, your coffee pot, and then because it's the villa, you've got all your crockery and your mugs, and then more crockery just there. Toaster, nice big sink, and then a really big fridge freezer. So off the living space, you have the master bedroom and the master bathroom. I'll start in the bathroom. So you've got this amazing big counter space with this huge mirror, lots of storage, more of those Disney toiletries that we all love. And then you have the jacuzzi bath and again, more toiletries. Coming on from here in a separate little room, you've got the commode and the shower. So you've got the toilet and then you have this huge rainfall shower with again, more of those Disney toiletries. So coming out of the bathroom, you have got a wardrobe here with the safe in and more storage. It's also got your ironing board and your ironing. It has this little space for you to keep your suitcase. It's also got a drawer in, which is really handy. You've got a full length mirror, which great, love that. TV, little writing desk area, and then a massive king size bed, again, with the really nice little pop art Disney artwork above it and then you can also get out onto the balcony it's one of the smaller ones for a one bedroom villa I have stayed in one bedroom villas with bigger balconies but it does the job it's a really nice size that's the door into the living room just there and look look at this view guys like I just can't get over that I am obsessed with just how peaceful and how nice it is I can't wait to come out here tomorrow morning and just have a coffee look at the magic kingdom it's just it's just stunning yeah that is our room at bay lake tower i absolutely i love it so much it's one of my favorite resorts to stay in i know it gets a bit of a bad rep because it isn't the most disney themed but i love the location i love these villas i'm really excited to be staying here i'm really excited to be back it's my mum and my dad and my brother's first trip back since covid and all of that their last trip was 2019 um, and my mum's last trip was 2020 literally before the world went to the state the world went to. So they haven't been back since, so I'm really excited for them to get back into the parks. We're gonna go to Epcot tonight. They haven't seen Epcot in a very long time, so it's very different to them. They haven't seen like Connections and Rami and like the whole France expansion. So I'm really excited to go to Epcot this evening. We need to go and pick up their annual passes. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy to be back. Like, it feels really surreal because I have been, like, I'm really lucky that I've been as much as I have been this year. Um, and I, I didn't expect that to kind of happen. I didn't expect to even get away in January. Um, and those trips have been so amazing because they were with, like, my other family. Because the, um, Andy's family that we came with, like, we always have the best trips and love like we always just have so much fun but it's just so exciting to just be back with my family too we've been coming to disney with them since i was like eight years old um and we come every year so it's really nice to just be back here with them they're all so excited they've gone to go and get the refillable mugs and then i'm gonna go and get ready and sort myself out because i feel so gross after that plane ride it wasn't bad like it was really good for like i've never flown a ba before i was very happy with it um but I feel a little bit gross because I've been traveling for so long and I haven't had much sleep. So I'm going to go and do that.
just made more brilliant by the light that lives within you. It inspires us to lead with curiosity, unlock our imagination, and explore new horizons. Tonight, as we gather together under the glow of Spaceship Earth, our sparks ignite the magic to create a beacon, shining out and celebrating 50 years of the most magical place on Earth. I knew it was a big spot, but like my mum and dad and Andy and Craig never done it before, so they really enjoyed it. Um, but we literally we did that as our like only ride. Heading out now because it's nine o'clock, the park shut, so we got on that in about 30 minutes. It was posted 55, so it's a good little tip um, that the wait times aren't always what they're posted. Um, so we're heading out and we're just gonna go back to Bay Lake and get some food and just go to bed because we're quite tired because obviously we've been traveling. Um, and everywhere else is kind of shut so we're just going to go back get some food and then get up early for May the 4th tomorrow. 